Next time you don't fucking clock in, we'll black your fucking other eye, Bill. Dude, do it. Please do it. Fucking <laughs> kids, no respect for the barbarians' culture. Hi, Ryan Cruzy, Cruzy Originals, back at you again. I have myself a little snack of steak and red potatoes. Bill's over here tearing down this road glide. We're starting a new project right now. This is, uh, I don't know what we're gonna call it, maybe building a road glide into something cool. High performance road glide build. How to road glide build. Watch Bill build a buildy build thing over here. But uh, it's 2007 road glide, 2011 road glide, my bad. We bought it at auction. Uh, it was wrecked. It was a total. It's a salvage title. The fairing was pretty smoked. It was all broken up. Front fender was bent and it had a tour pack. It's a Rogue Glide Ultra, so it had a tour pack and all that shit. Tour pack was pretty beat up. So we threw all that shit away. We got a new fairing, all that stuff. It's got a 107 built motor in it. It also had every single thing that ever been done to this was in the tour pack. The dude had a whole file in there. Dyno sheet, everything. It made real big power. Like 106 horse, 112 foot pounds, something like that. It's pretty good for a decent sized low compression motor. It, uh, it's got some nice Harley Davidson PA wheels on it. Got a lot of nice stuff on it. It was a good platform. We got the bike for a customer. We sold the bike to the customer for 8,500 bucks, which is also a good deal on a road glide. And now we, we have a budget of around 11,500 to build it. So we're on kind of a, that's, that's a very limited budget for building a motorcycle. So we're going to make this thing as high performance as possible with as little amount of money as possible. And we're going to film the whole series. So every Monday we'll be working on this thing and, and you know, working towards whatever the, whatever the f you know, putting it together, do a little step farther forward. Today we're going to tear down the front end and we're going to try and get the Geezer Glide trees on. It's a terrible name for a company, but... That's what it's called. Geezer Glide makes built aluminum 49 millimeter trees that you can convert these early model baggers to 49 millimeter fork legs. So we're gonna run a Dyna front end on it. Uh, Pro One, gold tubes. We are also gonna run Legends internals. Did those show up yet? No. Uh, Legends cartridges in the front, Legends arcs in the rear. We got uh, fork legs off of a Lowrider S late model. We are dual disc in the front end. It's gonna be super fancy, TC Bros risers, pullbacks with Flymoto bars. Probably no stereo, maybe a stereo, I don't know yet. It's gonna be as bare bones as possible. We're gonna try and eliminate most of the electrical shit, most of the wiring. We're gonna move the key switch down to where the horn is. We'll go over all of that stuff. And, oh, that good shit. You clock in on this, Bill? No. You motherfucker, how long you been working on it? Can't get paid if you're not clocking in on the motherfucking job. We're gonna try and run a Dyna fender on it, a bunch of other just kind of weird, goofy shit that we can do. And we'll kind of give you guys an idea of what we're doing parts-wise. So as far as we are parts-wise, so we have also got a polished stealth exhaust coming for it, a uh, custom saddleman seat. So we're about $6,800 in parts, not including the rear shock. So all that, we're about close to eight grand in parts in the bike right now. And that's just building the front end, exhaust, rear seat, rear suspension, and labor. There's a, an extensive amount of labor going to the front of this bike. A good bit of that we'll probably just be doing for free because I want to build this bike. I've been excited about building this bike. It's going to be a fun project. It's going to be a nasty project. We're building this for Matty Block's brother, Shadrack, who's a moto kid too. Moto get. I think he's older than me or my age, so we're not kids anymore. That's about it. Bill uh, pulled all the wiring out, pulled all the wiring out of the handlebars. Uh, we're gonna move forward. I'm gonna eat this steak. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's done. Now let's get this uh, motherfucker up in the air. It says cool like some chrome axle covers. One thing.
thing that is not going back on this bike is the ABS. We're getting rid of all that because this is a high performance motorcycle and high performance motorcycles do not run shitty ass Harley Davidson ABS braking. Harley Davidson ABS, especially early ABS, will scare the shit out of you if you're shredding hard, that's for sure. That new traction control shit they got, man, that is some serious. Who the f buys a Harley you can't do a burnout on? I mean, what in the f? Jonathan, Fla Jonathan Flaccid Penis has got himself a new bike with traction control, ABS, all the rider comforts. Ooh, that's sketchy. I like these wheels. These are the Harley PA wheels, I believe. Some aftermarket shit from Harley Davidson. <laughs> Those whack ass spacers, too. This bike's got a lot of nice stuff on it and a lot of whack shit on it. It's got a fucking bedazzled cross like an affliction cross for a fuel door cover. Nothing says cool like bedazzled shit on a Harley Davidson. Arr. Thing's loose. I wonder if this thing's got any suspension in it. Got a whole entire 41 millimeter uh, front end for sale right now. If anybody wants one, it's coming off this bad boy as we speak. Really cool, really cool fork cans. Look at these guys. Those are fing cool. Right there. If you glue a bunch of rhinestones on the ass of your jeans, those guys would go really nice with that. I literally saw a guy up there years ago. It had chrome angel wings on the back of his t-shirt. Somewhere there was a fucking battery pack in his shirt. So the angel wings lit up with different like neon lights throughout them in his t-shirt. And this motherfucker was like serious. That's right, there we go. I never really liked I never liked the yuppie style shit of the Harley Davidson world. That's mostly what that stuff always is, is it's the yuppies that be building that shit. And it's just never what I was into. I'm more like the working man class style of motorcycle. This is all like a quick way of just tearing things down too. I don't really give a shit about any of these parts because they're not going back on the bike. I'm not gonna use them at all actually. Once upon a time in California, once upon a nothing happens for a long fucking time while you sit on your couch watching nothing fucking happen for a long period of time. Dude, there was 20 minutes, no bullshit, 20 minutes of fucking Brad Pitt just slowly pouring dog food into a dog bowl for his dog. Yeah, I, I you know. I didn't like Reservoir Dogs either. Actually, it's, it's a little twisty and strange, but. Hopefully, I put those things on the right direction. No, this is Riding through this world. Mm. I'm gonna get to her in stereo. God 
goddamn, oh my god, dude, this is a fucking pain in the ass. I'm telling you what. So this thing, we gotta bolt this steering stop up here, but there's no room for a nut, so I'm gonna just get this guy in here and try and just kind of hammer this thing down a little bit. Trent! Trenton! Useless. This thing's a nice product. It's a good price. You just kind of have to put some work in to make it right. Motherfucker, I gotta grind this side too. stop is in. There's only a moderate amount of work, a little bit of fabbing, a little bit of drilling. Trent! What? Where's the brake lines and the rest of the shit for this kit? This geezer glide kit, it came with brake lines and the junction box, junction and all that shit. I don't think it did. It did. Wow. It did come with brake lines, 100%. The brake lines to the lowers, the upper, everything. No, it didn't. We went through all that shit we brought in. It came with brake lines. It did not have brake lines. It did too have brake lines. It came with lower brake lines, and that's what that fucking black box is for. That's where the junction that it's supposed to be. Right there. Brake lines, junction. I have this piece. I don't have any of that shit. Yeah, this shit and brake lines. Oh, there's that part of the box. Neck bearings, dust seals. Yeah, I have all that. Are you sure you brought it with the brake lines? Yeah, click on that one right there too. Where the f what the f dude? Come look how fucking there ain't no goddamn way that the and it's not even like torque. No, I can't. It's not even close to being sitting down all the way. Yeah. Let's go down there, inch. So you come over here, you can see our dilemma. This don't fit. No more. It's not even fucking close. That is not gonna work. So. The start of today's project was an absolute failure. <laughs> we gotta get different riser bushings because these cocksuckers won't clear shit. Yeah, that sucks. Well, today we didn't make it very far. We got the front end off and I got the trees kind of mocked up enough to know that we need different riser bushings. We gotta have the countersunk good and tight bushings to clear the steering stop that we had to put onto the frame, bolt to the frame, drill all that stuff out. So we didn't make it nearly as far as I wanted to today. I wanted to have the front trees done today so when the tubes come in we could get the front end assembled and get it knocked out. But I mean we're kind of somewhat there. But future things coming. This uh, is going to be a, a weekly episode. We're going to film every Monday, every Monday that we can and we're going to put out you know each next phase on this bike. Uh, we are doing like I already said, it's going to have a dyna front end. We got the fork legs right here. The fork legs are off of a Lowrider S, uh, 2000 whatever, 17 twin cam Lowrider S. So they're black, dual disc brakes, dyna fork legs. They look better than the bagger ones. We're running uh, Pro One gold tubes. What's up, Willie Wu? Uh, we're running those Legends cartridges in the front. We've got uh, Revo arcs coming for the rear. We've got a full polish stainless stealth coming for it as well, and we're just going to keep kind of plugging away each each phase that each phase that comes in. Next, we'll be finishing this up. We ordered the right riser bushings. That's happening. We're trying to find the right riser bushings right now. Actually, we're going to get that dialed, and then hopefully the tubes should have been here already, so they should be here any day. We've got the cartridges already. We've got the legs already. Next, we'll be putting that front end together and setting that up, setting ride height up. Stock tubes on a on a Dyna are about five and a half inches taller than stock tubes on a bagger. So this thing's going to be a lot taller in the front, but we're going to slide the tubes up a little bit. So it's kind of gold on gold sticking up all fancy. We got the barn riser set up. That's about it. We're just uh, waiting on parts, waiting on parts. We're going to keep moving forward. So stay posted. Remember to uh, hit that little dinger bell down there so you get notifications so you don't miss any of this stuff and you're the first one to watch and you can comment down below, talk a bunch of shit. Talk as so much shit as you want to. I enjoy it. Uh, and uh, I like talking shit myself. So, Cruzy Originals.
cruiseoriginals.com for all of your motorcycle needs almost all this shit will be on the website and if there's anything you see us putting on here that is not on the website you can give the shop a call tuesday through friday say what's up talk to trent and he will get it out to you with the quickness we can get you anything under the sun we are your one-stop shop for all your harley davidson performance needs cruise the originals also we're on instagram also we got a big pit bike ride coming up october 30th and some parties coming up and we'll be posting all that and we're going to start a podcast it's finally going to happen cruise the originals love you guys thank you so much Peace.